I was told to go downstairs. And then, as if sort of on signal, those doors opened, and then in their midst was this precious little child. And as I went over to greet her, her brown eyes, you know, just rose up to meet mine, and oh, mercy, uh, it was just love at first sight. Two days before, on a Friday evening, I received a call from the superintendent of schools asking me if I would like to take a first grade. And then to my surprise, it evolved quite differently. To uh, drive up to the school that morning and witness this crowd, people yelling. There were a lot of placards with all kinds of sayings, some even from the Bible. I was so uh, stunned by the reaction to what was happening. I could not believe people would treat anyone like that, particularly a child. By November 15, there were no children left in the school. They were all gone. We joined hands and went up to our lonely classroom where we began our solitary adventure. We'd sit side by side because, you know, I could fit into the desks that I was skinny. And uh, I often chuckle at the fact that I had snowflakes to uh, emphasize different ways you could make the number four, you know, three and one, two and two. There was never a hand offered um, the entire year to do a single thing for Ruby and me. But that first day, I was, in a way, being just a friend to her, and she was taken home by the federal marshals. But I think I told her, I said, while there weren't any children here now, there would be some would join us later on.